Yo, what up? It's Aaron Moses. I'm out here again in this bright ass sun with all these motherfucking flies. But this video is 10 tips on how to deal with depression. Hold on, let me get my Coca Cola. My Coca Cola. And um, I got this video request a lot. And I'm going to go into it. Okay, the first tip is do what happy people do. Fake it till you make it. Be happy, go out, make friends, mimic what happy people do. It's fucking inevitable. Life is treating you like depressed because you are Depressing, you're depressing your energy, your mind, your body, and your soul into a little ball beneath your feet. And the only, re well, one of the only reasons that you are depressed is because you do what depressed people do. You keep repeating these patterns. You keep making your depression a fucking habit. Why? You're naming it your depression. You're saying, I am depressed. You're doing what depressed people do. And depressed people do what depressed people do. Happy people don't do what depressed people do. So, I mean, I made a video about faking it till you're making it. Subconscious mind tricks. Jedi subconscious mind tricks. You know, the science of it. The neurological stuff. The psychological stuff. If you want... I will post that link in the description or make a fake it till you make a video specifically for people struggling with depression which is a great fucking idea and I don't know why I didn't think about that but yeah next would be you guys know I got my fucking notes next would be study depression study what it means to, dep to be depressed you know when you learn about it you can you can better battle it you know know thy enemy know yourself and know your enemy um knowing things like the symptoms of depression the signs of depression what can happen to your mind and your body and your soul if you believe you have a soul because that way you can learn on what to avoid you can learn what you need to do you know if you're gonna go to therapy for it you can learn the best ways to deal with it your own without watching my videos and other people's videos next would be of course I recommend exercise exercise releases all kind of chemicals it boosts your confidence naturally it makes you stronger you know your circulation is gonna be better your your cardiovascular system is gonna be better your respiratory system is gonna be better and what do I always say life is in the breath you know your health is in your wealth is in your health and speaking of that this is just coca-cola and i am a falcons fan fuck the cowboys i just have to drink out this cup so i can make sure no flies get in my fucking drink um next would be your diet change your diet another one of my tips is actually get some more sunlight and go outside but when you eat high vibrational foods lettuce tomatoes fruits vegetables salads when you eat fruits and vegetables fresh ones specifically not out the can what do fruits and vegetables eat they eat fucking sunlight sunlight is what you need what every person needs to stay healthy it builds that melanin in your that neural melanin. It builds melanin in your brain, which helps you to heal yourself, helps you to connect with yourself better, and it has all kind of benefits. So Google that melanin, neural melanin, and all that. But definitely changing your diet. You'll be able to think better. You'll be able to do everything better. You won't need as much sleep. You'll have more energy. You'll just be naturally happier. Next would be. Um, this is actually an off branch of do what happy people do, but one of my, uh, excuse me, one of my favorite things to do 
when I get a little down, actually when I get extremely down, is watch comedy. I watch pranks on YouTube and that shit fucking saves my life. Stand up comedy. I listen to MIA, fucking reggae, baile funk, this Brazilian, Brazilian music, you know, reggaeton, Miami bass, all kind of just happy music. I mean, there's happy hip hop and rap songs, but you know, sometimes you just need to change it up, especially when you want to put yourself in a different state of mind. Um, next would be express yourself, and I actually wrote a paper about this. There is, there was, and I believe doctors still practice this. There's a practice where you're supposed to just, you know, if you feel overwhelmed and you're depressed, where you just sit in the room and you have somebody just help you keep your life simple. You don't pick what you wear. You don't pick what you eat. You don't pick any of that shit. You just sit and you meditate. But there's a book out where um, this lady actually was prescribed that form of therapy and she got she went fucking nuts she started developing symptoms of schizophrenia and all of that and really what all she needed was to express herself she secretly kept the journal and the more that she journaled she got more healthy she got more healthy she got more happy she felt more free and eventually she fucking told that doctor to go where to hell and she left the room left the house and she held herself just with her own expression she published that book and changed hella lives you know so expression life is all about expression number one everything you do is a form of expression writing reading is a form of expression exercising all kind of things <clears throat> creative not creative whatever you need to do um, next will be like I said sunlight going outside and the great thing about all of these is that you can actually practice all of these things outside which is awesome um, next would be of course an off branch again of do what happy people do avoid depressing people if you know there's that fucking one relative that always starts drama and likes to gossip and shit like that don't go around that person if this person sit or, sitting around smoking weed all day playing video games just being just acting depressed they might be happy just smoking weed and playing video games whatever they're doing might make them happy but if they're living a depressed lifestyle don't go around that person sitting in the dark the only light they get is from the fucking screen eating fucking cold pizza and shit and on Facebook all fucking day I'm sorry you know living a depressed lifestyle is not what you need to be around next would be challenging yourself now you have to balance this because sometimes if you challenge yourself you can actually make yourself more depressed if you go too too hard but everybody needs a good challenge, you know? This this whole thing is a big challenge. And it's going to make you a lot better. It could be anything so little from setting five goals. I'm going to read three pages out of this book today. I'm going to fucking clean my garage out. And I'm going to organize my fucking books on my bookshelf. Alphabetically. You know, three challenges I... I forgot who it was. I think it was RSD Julian. He said that successful people, people who really make changes in their life, they don't do these big, spectacular fucking things overnight. They do them eventually, but usually it starts with doing little insignificant things every day. Little, little things, little baby steps. Organize, reorganizing their house, putting their couch over here, putting their TV in a different place. Little, little stuff, you know, taking a different route to work, start, work, starting to wear colors instead of fucking black every day. So little adjustments, little adjustments, things that challenge you will help you in the long run. And lastly, the most, one of the, honestly, what I think is the most wise out of all these tips and what I've learned, I got this from RSD Tyler, is to just simply get tired of being depressed get tired of it 
get bored of it, get tired of it, forget about it. Like, aren't you tired of being depressed? Doesn't this shit just bore the fuck out of you? Like, you wake up every day. <sighs> Guess I gotta go to work. I'm gonna smoke my first cigarette of the day. Oh, figures. Only got four cigarettes. What's on TV? Nothing. Oh, everything. Like, literally, I just got tired. I did a meditation, like, two, yesterday. And I just got tired of being fucking anxious. I just got tired of being fucking guilty and shameful and shit. And it felt like this energy was just coming forward. And I just kept saying, I'm letting go of this. I'm letting go. I'm tired of it. This shit's boring. It's dead. Like, fuck it. Get tired of this shit. Get bored. Get tired of being depressed. Because it was a point where I honestly thought I was addicted to being depressed. And when I talked to a professional, they said that you cannot be... You can't be addicted. You can't even chemically be addicted to being depressed. Physically, none of that shit. You're just used to it. It's just habitual. It's just your habit. It's something that you entertain. It's something that you feed. If you give it thought, you give it power. And if you give thought and power to just being fucking bored of being depressed, that shit's dead. You know, it's it's dead. Um, another thing <clears throat> for the diet and the exercise and the sunlight i told you guys i was seeing a doctor and he was so quick to he literally asked me four questions and said i was bipolar and that was it and prescribed me some shit now i'm not saying that you should not get physical help i definitely not physical professional help i definitely recommend that to a lot of people i think 85 percent of people in america should get therapy or see a person a psychologist, a psychiatrist at some point in their lives, but we didn't even, we didn't even try to get me on a different regimen, you know, I was drinking fucking three to four times a week, smoking cigarettes, eating fucking processed foods, staying in the fucking house, watching TV, and they literally, they didn't want to listen to me, they didn't entertain it at all. So definitely diet, exercise, achieving those little things every day, getting sunlight, baking it till you make it, doing what, uh, what happy people do, studying depression, diet, exercise, again I said that I know, watching comedy, listening to happy music, and when you do those things, those are actually boost your confidence and make you a, a funnier person and a happier person. Um, expressing yourself, going outside, getting sunlight, diet and exercise, avoiding depressing people, and challenging yourself. That's it. Put your energy, get your energy up there. You know what's making you, de you depressed. When you sit and you feel these emotions, that's what they're for. Your emotions are for you to, to survive and to, and, to, and to be a better person. That's what they're for. For you to make it to the next day. You're feeling these things not because you're depressed. You're feeling these things because you need something to do you need something better you know i really don't want to fuck i don't really feel much positivity towards this person but